I believe if you follow the signs, they'll get you to where you couldn't have even imagined. Like, it's hard to explain, but the places that we are trying to go, the things, the dreams that we imagine, it's like they're not the whole picture. We don't see the whole picture because the whole picture isn't just about us. The whole picture is, you know, about the whole. Like, I was just sitting here thinking about how there's things that I'll be doing next year and most likely the year after that. I have some ideas that I have to talk to some people about. Um, but if these people are down for these ideas, like, I just wouldn't have even imagined certain things happening that I'm working on. I can't say yet, but once I get everything together with my business, with my, like, whole Mark Dreams brand, the music, the beats, this, that, like, all these other little things I'm working on, like, to help me with, you know, just living streams of income, this and that, some investments I want to make. Like, I had to put my NFT collection on hold because I want to do it right. I can't do it right without having a little more something to stand on type shit. So, like, once I get some other things taken care of, I can then start adding more things onto my plate. And I now see that there's something that's added to my plate that I need to take care of. It's part of the purpose. <clears throat> you know, the music, music's great. Music's part of it, too. But, like, these are all little pieces of what's coming together, and it seems like something's coming together. And if... You follow your soul, there will be pieces that come together. But if you follow your ego, it's all on you. Like, following the ego is not a bad thing. It's just, the ego is complicated. There's people that other humans would consider, you know, they are really ego and yada yada yada. But yes, they might be really ego, but they're also really soul. Like... People who follow their soul, you know, the ego's not a bad thing, good thing. This, like, there is no good or bad things in the terms of human consciousness. It's just human consciousness. But we lack the understanding to understand ourselves. So it's like, what it reminds me of is how all the other animals on the planet are in tune with the planet. <clears throat> like, they're in tune with the natural thing of the planet, I think one of the natural things of human beings is the natural, like, in, intuition, like, knowing how to, like, follow your intuition, knowing how to follow your instincts, knowing how to uh, read the signs, knowing how to, like, and not put some magical fucking fairy tale shit onto the signs, but understand that it's just part of human nature it's just part of being a, a physical being on a planet where it's like the planet at all times in a sense is has the opportunity to communicate with you mother nature can communicate like consciousness itself can communicate with consciousness if, if the consciousness is paying attention to the other consciousness like that's why like you know, when Terrence McKenna used to talk about, you know, pay attention in the psychedelic experience or like psychedelics and life are both just reflections of each other. And it's like the human experience is the same as the psychedelic experience. You have to pay attention. And if you don't pay attention, you miss certain things and then you end up going down, you know, the wrong way or whatever. And then it's like you need your ego to protect you because you're not on the spiritual journey you're on, you know, you're, you're just, you're just living and that's fine, but you can change. Like, it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter if you're young, my age, I'm 28, about to be 29. Or if you're older than me, like in your forties, fifties or sixties, you can begin the journey to start getting in shape and start following your soul because 
your soul doesn't want you to be sick and out of shape, lack of energy, lack of motivation. No, your soul, right? The creator, the whatever, like that, like it would want us to be our greatest version. And if you're not your greatest version yet, that's fine. If you're not your greatest version right now, that's fine. You can begin the steps to become your greatest version. Because I think this is the soul journey. Like, it's not about... Like, people have it... Because they're looking at it from an ego. Instead of looking at it from a soul. Which is... Like, the hustle hard. The work hard. The uh, grind culture. The... You know, people be like... You know, you're, you're good the way you are. You know, you gotta love yourself, you know, exactly how you are or whatever. And, like, I understand that. If you have a problem with like lack of self love but for me it was never a problem of lack of self love cuz i have self love it's that i understand that evolution progress movement is the point like stagnation causes cancer in the cells in the cells in the body <clears throat> so stagnation would cause some issues in our physical reality as well like, that's why I think that there's the signs. If you don't pay attention to the signs, you miss them. And if you miss them, it's like, what are you paying attention to? If you're not paying attention to the signs, you're probably paying attention to the ego. The, like, you're feeding this fire of, like, whatever instead of using the fire within your soul to feed you. You know, like, people will feed the fire of their ego instead of use the fire within their souls to feed themselves. Because if, like, I got a fire burning within me, and that fire burning within me is like some soul shit, which is why I'm like, I'm going to work on this, I'm going to work on that, I'm going to make my music, I'm going to try to relaunch my business, I'm going to do this shit, I'm going to become a better man, I'm going to get in shape, I'm going to fucking whatever, and it's not for anybody besides that's what I deserve like I deserve to be my greatest version so that's what I'm gonna work on I deserve to be connected um that's my birthright it is my birthright to be connected to mother earth not just connected as in oh I go outside and I go on hikes but I'm talking connected as in I feel her I feel it I can read the signs I can see the signs I can understand the messages i can get it like i can communicate with the plants i get it like i get it and that's our birthright right it, it, we are human beings it is our birthright to whatever but we're so disconnected that we really don't understand any of it and like this is why i talk about modern day shamanism because for me in my journey it was all about following this thing following this calling but that calling is it was like my soul screaming at me because I was some wannabe thug that didn't know myself. And if I stayed like that, I would have been lost forever. And like, or maybe not, right? Maybe eventually I would have found myself. But that's what I'm saying. It doesn't matter how old you are because if I would have stayed like that until I was 40 years old, if somebody would have woke me up, even though Timothy Leary says never wake a mind up past 40, but it's a different era we live in today. So, you know, that person might be okay. <laughs> but... It's just this thing where we all kind of got to figure out ourselves. Because my journey is not your journey. Your journey is your journey. And you just got to find out what works for you. Listen to your soul. Pay attention to the signs. Pay attention. <laughs>